Hey, good morning and welcome back. We're in Malachi chapter 4 and verse 2 today. Let's read. But to you who fear my name, the Son of Righteousness shall rise with healing in his wings, and you shall go out and grow fat like stall-fed calves. So this is part of this section, these first three verses in the chapter. They all go together. We talked about something that might have surprised somebody yesterday morning about what happens to the wicked. But let's talk this morning about what happens to the righteous. Okay, so we have... To you who fear my name, to those of us who respect God, who love and appreciate him, who allow him to transform us, to us, what? To us, it says, the son of righteousness shall arise. So the word here is not S-O-N for son. That wouldn't be the translation into English, but S-U-N. It's like talking about the sun, moon, and stars, that sun, the, the, big, the big hot ball out there in the sky. The son of righteousness, that's taken as a symbol of the righteousness of God, So the son of righteousness, kind of interesting in English, the way it works out, he comes with healing in his wings. What happens to us? We will go out and we will grow up like like infants that grow up to maturity. So here's a promise to us. He just talked about the fate of those who choose sin and selfishness and what happens to them in verse 1. In verse 2, there's a totally different outcome for us, a very beautiful, a very precious outcome. God wants to bring us along and grow us up. So God will be our helper. He will be like the sun. He will raise us up and make us right. So a very special promise. He comes with healing in his wings. He's going to transform us. And many terrible things that have happened in our life, many of the scars that have been left and the troublesome pieces, God's going to be healing that. Oh, it's going to be a special time when we get to know Jesus, like it is our privilege to know him. May God be with us. Let's, let's pray and see if he'll be with us as we pray. Dear Father in heaven, as we look into your word today, we see some special promises that you will be with us. You will raise us up. You will heal us. You will be our healer. We thank you for that, Lord. When we look out on the fate of the wicked, especially some of that in this chapter, it's good to see this promise here reminding us that your purpose towards us is a purpose to, of goodness to bring us a future and a hope and to give us a future of peace. Lord, bless us and grow us. Thank you for hearing our request, Lord, that Jesus would be the son of righteousness to us. Thank you for hearing, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, friends, God has got mighty stuff on the agenda. Are we tuned in with his agenda? Are we going to let him do this for us? I pray we will and he will. May God be with you this day as you serve him this day on planet Earth.